Our project was an interactive website guide to the local cultural and historical wonders of our town. We had interactive pictures linked to text files, we had sound files, we had video bytes and we had artwork. The class came up with the idea and I facilitated it so that they could make it possible. We put a picture in of our project and add little tags about like facts about it and we made little green screen videos for it. We've had measurable impacts against the, the levelling of the children so we can see in, across their written work an improvement. Children who find literacy difficult were engaged as well because each pair of children was responsible for a wonder so there was no getting out of it. They had to do the work or their part of the website wouldn't have anything on it. You get loads of ICT work, you have so much fun doing it and it, you really feel proud of yourself afterwards. We've been getting parents involved in the children's work, which can be difficult. We've had the one of the local tourism websites has retweeted our tweets and shared the website link on their website. We've had, obviously, teachers from other schools show the website to their children and share links across the, the borough and outside the borough as well. Well, creating our school website, I found it really cool, like, because it showed a lot of our IT skills and it showed how much people actually knew about how to do stuff instead of just like, mess. <laughs> so I would like to continue the project with the, the class that I've got next year and we'd look at developing it along the lines of adding more information. We would like to try and put it into an app so that we could have a mobile guide to the town. If we were lucky enough to win, it would be amazing. Um, it would be something very prestigious for the school and I think the local area and I think the children would deserve it. They work very hard and I think it would be brilliant for us.